need to let people know I'm still alive. This is the most peaceful time of day in Taxi Town. Taxi Town? You know, Sodor kinda sounds like a real English or Welsh town or city, but Taxi Town just sounds so... last minute. I mean, what's next? Boat docks? Train railroad? Plane airport? Pony city? Robot world? Frustration game? Still got the switch on my mind, damn it! That's better. The taxis need their rest. They have a very busy day coming up. And yes, that is an anthropomorphic fuel pump. And that's not even the strangest character design I've seen from this show. You'll see in a few minutes. Time to get those wheels a rolling. Big, big, big garage. Time to get those horns a blowing. Big, big, big garage. The theme song really isn't that bad. With those backing vocals in the background, it kind of reminds me of certain songs you would hear from the 50s or 60s. Let's get going to the big, big, big garage. Big, garage. big, 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 big garage. Some of the lyrics are a bit off, but it's still enjoyable enough for the ears. <laughs> Does anyone else think the big garage looks like one of those play school garage sets? That was what it reminded me of when I was a kid. Today's a very special day here at the big garage. Our new taxi, Mimi, is coming for her first day of work. Well, this definitely isn't the first episode. Oh, no, 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 no. How lucky was I that most of the tapes I owned featured the first episode of these certain series, so I wasn't completely lost. She's on her way right now, from the Baby Taxi School. <laughs> the Baby Taxi School? Do I even want to know what that is? Me, me's here! Me, me! Let's all cheer! Me, me! Hooray! <laughs> oh. Is that the reason there's a baby taxi school? Because the taxis over there literally look like babies? I'm used to seeing cars with eyes and a mouth at this point, but I've never seen one with a dummy in its mouth. Oh, I am sorry. A pacifier. You Americans with your words. I just passed my taxi test. That makes me a real taxi. <laughs> I have a taxi light and a new taxi number. It's four. Taxi horn! Meep meep! <laughs> Isn't it strange that she was given a taxi light even though she was already built as a taxi? And I'm guessing the people who painted the four on her sides must have already known that there are only three other taxis in Taxi Town. Wait, the place is called Taxi Town, and yet there are, at the moment, three taxis? Oh, which way is Taxi Town? <laughs> She should know how to get where she's going. Mainly if you have a GPS installed. Mm -hmm. I'm worried. What if the new taxi gets lost and goes to Scrapland by mistake? If anyone is wondering why the taxis look weird, it's because they are hand puppets. Like, literal hand puppets. And it would explain why you hardly ever see the road on this show. See, here's the set they would use. It would have a huge gap hidden by either the camera or a wall decoration, and that's where the hand would be. Then the camera would be here, filming the crew using the puppet. I find it weird though. Some kids shows focusing on vehicles mainly use either models, CGI, hand-drawn animation, paper still animation, animatronics, but I never expected one of them to use hand puppets. 
this. Scrap could scare the hubcaps off a new taxi. True. Hey, sometimes even I pop my radiator cap around Scrap. <laughs> Whoa, how did they do that? Not how Yorkie popped his radiator cap, as he says, but how they managed to blow steam out of the puppet. Let's keep an eye out for her and make sure she doesn't go to Scrapland by mistake. Sure, that's doable. And yes, two of the taxis are... Um... I'm not sure about stereotypes, but their accents, designs, and even their names make it very clear what kind of taxi they are. Like this one is designed like a New York style taxi. So they had to name him Yorkie and give him a Brooklyn accent. And this one is based off of a London style taxi. So they gave him a British accent and named him London. No, seriously, that's his name. No play on words or anything. It's just... London. Zigzag? Okay, you okay. go zip, zap, zoom, zigzag, away. Main Street, yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, and this one, Zigzag, she's not based on a certain foreign taxi. She's just... a taxi. Uh, London. What does she look like? Uh... We'll know when we see her. <laughs> okay. Wait, no one told them what the new taxi would look like? Oh, and what does she look like? Um, I don't know. We'll know when we see her. What if she already made it to Scrapland before you see her? In fact... Uh, I wonder if this is the way to the big garage. <sighs> I know you're a baby taxi and everything, but come on. The big garage is right there. <laughs> There it is, Rusty! What the hell is that? Who tells those taxis where to go? <laughs> you know who Pump does! It should be me! Scrap! No, seriously, I have no idea what this thing is. Is it a giant spider monster who lives in a scrapyard? Is it a living crushing machine that eats metal? <laughs> is it a... I can't believe I'm saying this. An anthropomorphic piece of orange metal? Is it orange to give kids the illusion that it's rusty? Cause he doesn't look rusty to me. He just looks like one of those orange starburst sweets. You're good at giving orders, Scrap! One day, a taxi will drive through our tunnel, through the gates of Scrapland, and that taxi will work for me! One of Scrap's main goals in this series is to have a taxi that works for him. One, I never would have expected a business rivalry sort of thing between a metal crushing machine and a fuel pump. Not Scrooge McDuck and Glomgold level, but a rivalry nonetheless. And two, what would Scrap want with a taxi? What can a taxi do for Scrap? And even if he did have a taxi working for him, he would still have one over four. Or at the moment, three. I'm super nice, super duper nice. All the taxis want to work for me, not that bossy pump. <laughs> oh, uh, you'll be much happier here. <laughs> he can't fool me. Huh? Uh, thank you, but I'm going to the big garage. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. I don't believe it. I have watched loads of shows where the characters get easily tricked by obviously evil antagonists or are easily led into a trap. And most people would know how tiring, annoying, and frustrated this cliche can be. So I am surprised out of my mind that even a baby character, a character that the show itself openly classifies as a baby, can see through a villain's tricks and traps and yet loads of older characters in other shows don't. Oh, Pump, you didn't need to order another taxi. Oh, now who is this? Wait, is that an anthropomorphic toolbox? Sure, let's just believe that any inanimate object in this show can be... Animate. That house can be alive. That tree can be alive. Maybe even the VHS case itself can be alive. I have no idea how to breathe. You didn't need to order another taxi. But Tooley, there's so much work, we have to have another taxi. 
Yeah, about that. There's a certain problem about the show that the crew overlooked and makes that line fall flat on its face. There isn't a single human on this show. I'm serious. No human mechanics at the garage, no human police officers, and most obviously, no human passengers in the background or the foreground. The basic purpose of a taxi is to transport passengers to a faraway part of the city or the country. So what the hell kind of work do these taxis do if there isn't a single human on screen? Yes, Julie, keep working on your taxi. It'll be number five, huh? if he ever finishes. <laughs> number five? Number five. Number five, of course! <laughs> I hope that isn't going to be his final name. Number five isn't really a name. This isn't codename Kids Next Door. <laughs> All right, you Spanners, we've got work to do! <laughs> don't, don't come back here, you Spanners! Every time you do this to me all the time! So, I guess the reason why number 5 hasn't been built yet, and never will be built, is because of the spanners. They are so mischievous that they don't want to work. Which is strange, because they're refusing to do the thing they exist to do in the first place. Red light! Stop! And, uh, count to three, pretend to sneeze, then you roar, nothing more! Talking living traffic lights now? Sure, why not? Can we just skip the counting, sneezing, and roaring part? Sorry, Yorkie. Rules are rules. That you just made up on the spot. Look, Flash, I don't mind you stopping me all the time. That's my job, but I don't understand why you make me do these silly things. You and me both. Well, somebody has to make up the rules. But count to three, pretend to sneeze, then you roar, nothing more? Your rules don't make any sense. Okay, is Yorkie reading my mind right now? Some smart taxi teaching me the rules. <laughs> huh? You don't think that's a new taxi, do you? Uh... Nah, couldn't be. But you've never seen her before, so that would have given you a hint. And besides, there are no other taxis in this town who is red. And there's only three of you in this town, excluding her. Well, actually, we do see other vehicles in certain shots, but none of them are red either. Red light! Yes. But, but, you know what you have to do. I can stay red all day if I have to. I like how these puppets have mechanisms to make them blink, move their eyebrows and mustache, and show colored lights. It helps them emote a lot more than normal hand puppets. I'm on the way, beep, beep, I'm nearly there. There's a song in every single episode. And I mean every single episode in this series has a song. Most of them are hit or miss, but the ones I've heard on this tape are actually not that bad. This first one is quite catchy in a way. The best place in town is the big garage friends are found. It's the big garage. This might sound stupid, but when I was little, that house made me think it was made of SpaghettiOs type pasta shapes and sauce, because that's what the design and colors reminded me of. Actually, you're right, that does sound stupid. There's a new taxi coming to the big garage. Her name's Mimi. Um, yeah, we already knew that. London, Zigzag, and York, you're trying to meet her and keep her from going to Scrapland by accident. And they sure did a great job of that. I say, Zigzag, have you spotted the new taxi? I haven't seen her anywhere. But you were singing alongside her in the song you just sang. You're slowing me down. Um, but you keep trying uh, to drive into me. I'm trying uh, to get out of your way. Uh, I'm in a hurry. Don't tell me Zigzag is blind as well. I wonder if she's the new taxi. Nah. Couldn't be. God say she is. Uh, oh, I say, can't you watch where you're going? Sorry. 
I'm sure you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. I don't have time to chat. If this show didn't have such a limited budget and that they could afford more car puppets driving along in the background, then maybe I could understand why everyone is so blind. Meep, meep. Huh? Well, that's a horn I don't recognize. Well, almost everyone. At least Pump has a memory. Welcome, Mimi. Oh, how did you know my name? Well, you drove up and said, Meep, meep, Mimi's here. So I guessed you must be Mimi. Plus, it's written above her rear wheels, next to her four. Why don't you look around your new home? <gasps> you mean... explore? Yeah, that's a good idea. If there isn't any dangerous machinery, tools, or parts lying around. Yeah, let the inexperienced baby taxi explore the place. I say, I haven't seen any new taxis. No, me neither. Mm. Maybe she's not coming. Red. Red, 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 red. Fasten the first Fringle Fletch to the medium mongol meter. Oh, yeah, well, I can do that. Now I can see another reason number five is taking ages to build. Because Tully doesn't have any arms or hands. Wait, how is he going to add the eyes and mouth anyway? Why am I envisioning someone making a retarded creepypasta about this? Spanners! No, oh, come back here. There's work to do now. Oh, <laughs> ah, oh yeah, there you are now. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Don't you have other tools besides the spanners? Hey, wait. Americans say wrenches over there. It's Brits who say spanners. Do Canadians say spanners? So, was this a Canadian show? Presenting the newest taxi to join our taxi town fleet. Here she is, our very own number four! Did you have to overdo the introduction? Like if you were announcing a new game console, or revealing the next Doctor Who actor? Your place is right next to mine. Parking spot number four for taxi number four. You mean that parking space was already there before Mimi arrived? Where does the tow truck go? Uh, oh, I know! Right next to Mimi! <laughs> <laughs> we always have a place for Rusty. But what about in an alternate universe somewhere, where number five is finally up and running? Where would Rusty go then? Let's watch. Wait, what? There are animated segments? Featuring this stop sign, who apparently has Rayman anatomy. I have to go meet all the other street signs. There's the one-way sign, the uh, no-parking sign. There's the go-this-way-that-way, up-down, sideways, all around. What, all at once? I'm sure all the traffic won't mind waiting around for about an hour for the signs to meet up. I'm scared. What if nobody likes me? <gasps> I know! I'll be friendly and nice! No, really? Shake everyone's hands, say, how are you? Lovely day. Please, sit down. Thanks for the tea, then they'll like me. How do you know there'll be tea there? Wait, how can you even drink tea if you don't have a mouth? Wait, where is your voice coming from if you don't have a mouth? <laughs> Here goes! They like me! They really like me! <laughs> Great! Wait, what were you doing? It looked and sounded as if you won a baseball game after doing a home run. Come here, Rusty! Uh, who? Me? I don't see another tow truck called Rusty! Yes, you! This guy is about as lovable as Diesel 10. And not in a good way. Go away, I'm busy! <laughs> you sound really mean. Nobody's gonna want to be your friend. So, the secret is to sound nice, hmm? Yes, nice and friendly. God, this is the most simple moral a kid show can deliver. <laughs> Okay, so there are different tools outside of the spanners. Well, where are they in the actual show? Looks 
like somebody new. Well, to me, all of the tools look new, except for the spanners. Hey, that's no way to greet a newcomer. They didn't do anything wrong. The oil can was just frightened. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, that's fine. Really? Okay, you can stop now. Ahem. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe I should go. No, stay here. You know you're always welcome. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. So, why is Rusty living in Scrapland, where Scrap treats him like a minion? The taxis at the big garage treat him with respect, so why doesn't he live with them? Huh? Oh no, now what are they gonna do? Don't tell me they're gonna sing! No! <laughs> I'm on the way, beep beep, I'm nearly there, beep beep. Today's the day, it's the big garage. I'm on the way, beep beep, I'm nearly there, beep beep. It's a big oh yeah, they also do a reprise in every single episode as well. And in the case of this song in particular, this doesn't make much sense. I mean, the lyrics are saying that Mimi is going to the big garage, which makes sense the first time she sung it, but in the reprise, she is singing it at the big garage. That's it for another busy day at the big garage. I'm sure things will start to quiet down now. Rusty! But not too quiet. <laughs> Rusty! Rusty! Oh, I guess Scrap will keep yelling for Rusty to come back, keeping everyone awake until he does. That's why he's forced to stay at Scrapland. Isn't it strange that I find the ending theme better than the opening theme? It's sped up a little, so it's catchier, and I like the instrumental and the backing vocals. The taxis are very brave, and not many things scare them. But one day, they were all very scared when they thought that they saw... A ghost. Well, we have a show filled with talking taxis, tow trucks, fuel pumps, traffic lights, toolboxes, and piles of metal, so why not ghosts? This show is about as cartoony as Scooby-Doo, anyway. Hey, Rag! Where are you, Rag? Tag with a rag? Wait a minute, that's impossible. Rags can't move by themselves. Do I need to repeat myself? If they had hands, they could just remove the rag and see what's underneath. Oh wait, that would give away the twist. Wait, they use miniature models? There's a ghost! A ghost in the garage. A likely story. If you were able to move, you would see. It was a ghost pump! Then maybe we should be friendly and invite it for tea. Uh, uh, ghosts don't drink tea. You clearly haven't seen any Luigi's Mansion games. Seeing a ghost is no excuse for driving through a red light. Especially since there are no such things as ghosts. Again, I find that hard to believe. Whoa, whoa. Tooley, did you turn on the hoist? Where is Tooley anyway? I don't think there was an explanation for that. Oh, the ghost! The ghost! The ghost! The ghost is trapped, Yorkie! You know, the puppeteers moved their eyes around to help them emote more, but they all still have permanent smiles. Yeah, those taxis are running around screaming like bumper cars at an amusement park. Ugh, the eyes on those models. It might just be the telescope effect, but they look creepy. I personally like this song more than the other one. It's much catchier and has more bearable voices. No offense. 
Yorkie went into the garage to find the ghost. And now he's trapped on the hoist. And everyone thinks a ghost did it. Will the other taxis be brave enough to rescue him? Oh wait, these must have been brief recaps after a commercial break. Though I don't really see a point, since I don't see anyone shooting into the middle of a program as opposed to the beginning of it. Come on, Mimi, let's make some noise and scare that ghost away! Okay! Ghost, ghost, go away! Come, Come again, again another day! What would that do? Why not just press the button below you? Zigzag, press the button! Yeah, like that. The hoist must be broken. Hmm. Can you fix it, Thule? Well, it, it's not easy. Okay, can Thule fix anything? First, he can't build a new taxi, and now he can't fix it. Thule's afraid of the ghost! I am not. Oh, I see. He's pulling that one. Take a look around. I've got better things to do. Why is he going upstairs if he's going to fix the hoist downstairs? <laughs> scrap! <laughs> Help! I know that isn't scrap, but does he have the leg strength to get off his fat ass and go anywhere? <laughs> When was the last time you ever saw a toolbox going along the motorway? Wait for the green! <laughs> green! <laughs> okay, I found that pretty amusing as a kid. Scrap! <gasps> Scrap? In the garage? But that's impossible! He is right. It's kinda hard to remove Scrap from his puppet base. Scrap? Have you decided to move out of Scrapland? <laughs> yeah, his parents wanted him to move out of that place for years. It's not Scrap Shadow at all! It's the Spanners pretending to look like Scrap! Don't! I have a feeling about that ghost! It's a Spanner too! They were behind this whole thing! One of the oldest cliches in the kid show storyline book. Only second to the birthday surprise story. I'm afraid of lots of things. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of things that are dangerous. Crossing the street can be dangerous. A road sign afraid of busy traffic? I gave up on logic a while ago. <gasps> I need help to cross a street like this. I could get hurt. Street. You're a stop sign. Can't you halt the traffic? Isn't that why you exist? Guess I'll stay here by myself. <gasps> yeah, I can believe that a giant invisible monster is roaring right behind her. Either that or we're all crazy. I think Mimi is afraid to go into the tunnel to Scrapland. She's been to Scrapland before and through the tunnel, and she didn't seem so scared about it there. Oh wait, there isn't any continuity in this show, isn't there? Is it because they think toddlers don't have the brains to remember things? Which is complete Red Bull. <laughs> I am not afraid. I just don't want to go through the tunnel. Because you are afraid. No, because I want to go home. And that's not the way. Hm. Okay, I'll admit it. That was a clever joke. I didn't see that coming. Wait, why isn't this toolbox alive? And shouldn't Tooley be represented here? Don't all the tools live inside him? Is it fun to be scared? Yes? You like being scared? Insert handy manny joke here. In Spanish. Rusty! And that's it. I don't have anything else to say, so how can I end the video? <gasps> Wait a minute.
visit It tried to stay all day A ghost came to visit It wouldn't <coughs> go away A ghost came from nowhere It sat there true as true A ghost came from nowhere Shouted out loud It turned out all the lights A ghost came to scare us It gave us <coughs> quite a fright A ghost came from nowhere It sat there true as true A ghost came from nowhere Shouted out loud Shut